Hello everyone. Welcome once again to Learning English Online with Professor Jeffrey. And today is the third video in our series Learning to Speak Scots English or Scottish English. Today it's a vocabulary lesson. I'm going to teach you some new vocabulary uh, in Scottish English and see how you can get on with this. See if you can integrate it into your spoken English as we know it. So we're going to start off um, the vocabulary with a preposition. And this is a preposition of location. And the Scots say this word, Ben, Ben. Yeah. So you can say, where's the bar? It's Ben the scullery. Ben the scullery means that it's located the butter is located in the larder in the kitchen. Now, for those of you that don't know what a larder is, um, in the old days, before many people had refrigerators, they had one cool cupboard, usually ventilated from the outside of the house. And they used to put things in there, covered up cold meat and things like that, to keep it cold. It was a way of keeping things cool. If you baked a pie, you would place it in the larder to cool down. And the Scots word for larder is scullery. It's known as a scullery. The next one is an adjective. And these adjectives, there are several in the Scottish language to say dirty, i.e. something that is unclean. So if we're talking about Betty's house and it's not clean, we can say, Betty's house is pure clatty, man. Pure clatty. Other words for dirty are mocha, reeking, as bowfin, manky, bogan, and rank. Now, all of those will fit in the sentence. Betty's house is Pure mingin, man. It's pure mingin. Now, this word mingin means dirty, smelly. It's also used in a derogatory way when two guys meet down the pub and they say, talking about somebody else's girlfriend or wife, and they can say, um, Hey, Rab, hey, have you seen Joan's new bird? She's pure minging, man. And you'll say, is she a minger? Aye, she's minging, man. A pure minger. So, um, it's not a very polite way, but trust me, um, having lived in Scotland for many, many years, that is uh, definitely on the cards when you're describing somebody's partner in a derogatory way. Um, when they want to say something is not good, in Scotland they say pish. It's utter pish, man. Yeah, if they don't agree with the statement you say, they'll just say, howee, man, that's a load of pish. Yeah, now pish is not a really good word um, to be saying because it is uh, the Scots vernacular for urine. Yeah. Um, but there you go, it's, uh, it's called pure pish. Another word for something which is not good is mince. It's pure mince, man. Mince. It's our mince. Yeah. Um, when we want to express um, a quantity, as in people, so if we go to a pub and it's full, it's not uncommon to hear this phrase. The place was pure hoaching, man. It was hoaching. Yeah, hoaching is a word that can be uh, used to describe a lot of people. It can also um, be used to describe a desperate need. I was hoaching for a swally, man. I was hoaching for a swally. Hoaching for a swally means that you were really in need of a drink, usually alcoholic beverage. It's called a swally, a swally. So um, if you're out in company and somebody says to you, 
Hey, man, do you fancy a swally? Yeah, it means, would you like something to drink? Usually of the alcoholic um, uh, nature. Okay, um, we've talked about swally. Um, on the other hand, refrigerants, as you say in Brazil, or fizzy drinks, as they like to say in English. Um, all fizzy drinks, Coca-Cola, Sprite, Fanta, everything in Scotland is called ginger. Ginger. When you hear them go into a shop, they'll say, you got a bottle of ginger, man. I want a bottle of ginger. Hey, Betty, do you fancy a bottle of ginger too? Now, in Scotland, they have this wonderful uh, fizzy drink. It's called Iron Brew. Yeah, but it's also referred to as ginger. Um, to steal. Now, I'm not casting aspersions on the Scots by any uh, stretch of the imagination, but the word for something which is stolen in Scotland is knocked off. It's been, hey, have you seen my new phone, man? It's pure knocked off. <laughs> means that it's been stolen. It hasn't been paid for. It's been knocked off, as they like to say. Um, now, swatches. Swatches or a swatch means to have a brief look at something. Yeah. So say like you've gone out and bought a new pair of trainers and you tell your friend about it. He might say, hey, man, geese are swatches at your new guys. Yeah, gutties is a word that they use to express gym shoes, training shoes, Reeboks. I know it sounds really, really weird, but they're called gutties in the Scotch vernacular. Now, we've also talked about uh, hoaching for a lot, but they use another word which comes from the English hundreds. But in Scotland, they say hunters, hunters, yeah? Man, you've had hunters to drink, means you're fairly drunk because you've had a lot of alcoholic beverages. So hunters to drink, it can also be used, hey man, I've not got many chips on my plate, but you've got hunters on yours, yeah? They also sometimes use the number 80 to describe a lot. But in Scotland, they will say, echte, echte, yeah? You've two sausages, you have two loads of beans and you've got echte chips on your plate. Echte, yeah, can mean a lot of. Um, here's one that I remember certainly from my childhood growing up, up in Scotland. When a child gets his backside smacked, yes, uh, smacked backside, in Scotland they say scalped. I gave him a right scalping, yeah? So that could be if you were in a fight with somebody and you slapped them about a bit, you gave them a right scalping. The child got his ears scalped, yeah? So when you get your ears scalped, it means you've had a smacked bottom, or as the Americans say, a smacked butt. Um, and you may have heard, many of you have been making comments that you're following the series Highlander. And in one episode in Highlander, um, Claire is told by Jamie to hod your wished, woman, hod your wished. Hod your wished means please be quiet, yeah? Hod your wished. Okay, so that's some Scots vocabulary for you today. There will be more to learn in later lessons. Um, I think many of you are enjoying this series, so we will continue with it. And as always, um, like and subscribe in the, uh, oh, hit the subscribe button and hit that bell if you want a notification every time we put a new video on our YouTube channel. Uh, you can like and comment down below. A like and a comment is always appreciated. Okay, so that's all for me, Professor Jeffrey, for now, saying, Ta-ta for new. Bye. Ciao.